I'm about to give you 14 reasons why you should not lease purchase a truck. Now, to those that are doing it successful, kudos to you. And that's only if you're being truthful with yourself. This situation is not a one size fit all, meaning that what I discussed today may not be your situation, but it will be a lot of situ uh, situation for a lot of guys coming into this industry because I'm gonna tell the truth. Number one, most of these guys live on advances and they never bring home a paycheck. The recruiters, they talk a hell of a good game to get you signed on. And a lot of that is a bunch of BS. The company, they don't intend on you paying that truck off. Matter of fact, once you get close, a lot of them will starve you out, meaning the loads will get less where you're not able to make your payments or you're falling in the hole in the red zone. So eventually you're just gonna, you're gonna walk away. Uh, the contract, that contract is written in favor of the carrier by the carrier's uh, attorney. So normally it's several pages long and uh, you don't, you're not gonna read all of that. You're not gonna understand the language that's included in that. And that's a fact. I see a lot of you signing your life away, not knowing what you're signing. Uh, you pay for all the repairs, even if you're on uh, your first week in the truck and it goes down, it's your responsibility, which um, it'll be a start to you being in the hole and not receiving a paycheck. So you'll forever try to play catch up getting out of that hole because you better be damn skippy. This is just an example. If your truck is 3,500 for the week and it costs 3,800 to get your truck out, they're gonna take every dime of that check you made and you're still gonna be in a negative until you catch up. So you need to be leery about that. Um, most companies, they assign your truck without you uh, being able to actually pick that truck that you want. And most drivers, you have zero maintenance experience. So you don't know what to check out and determine what needs to be repaired. They also uh, don't give you the opportunity to take that truck to an outside mechanic to determine if you're buying a lemon or not. So like I said, <laughs> you'll be absolutely lucky to not have any issues. A lot of these drivers live in their truck and they don't make enough money to pay mortgages or take care of a family. So just know the carrier is the only one making money. Uh, if you don't have money for a down payment, please, please, please don't think a carrier is giving you anything. You will pay for it one way or the other. I want you guys to stop seeing what you wanna see when coming into this industry. You better look at the reality and believe it. It's, it's not what you think. Companies, again, like I said, they will starve you out of loads when you get close to paying that truck off. It's just not designed that way. So if it's a walk away, walk away. Or just don't do it. Uh, if you don't have a contract, it's because the carrier knows you'll never own the truck. So you think about that. And if you do decide to quit, just don't abandon that truck because they can, you know, put things on your license as an abandonment. Or if you pull up with a load on it and you're Think you're gonna quit you're, you're quitting under a load uh, make sure you have money when you decide to turn that truck in uh, to get yourself home because they're not gonna get you home and then make sure you get all your things out of that truck if you know that you're gonna turn that truck in because you can't take all that mess on a bus or plane to try to get home now this is just my advice to these guys that want to be an owner operator so bad and that's jumping in the industry under these bad lease purchase agreements. Don't do it. I've seen it huh, time and time again. And I'm telling you, it's not worth it.